Hello pilots and welcome to a new iNav quick tip. Today I want to show you how you can set up your artificial horizon in your OSD correctly so it matches the real horizon and this is how you get from this to this. First of all I want to show you what's exactly wrong here and as you can see uh, in this short test clip the artificial horizon does not completely match the real horizon and it also doesn't move correctly when the nose is pitching up or down. The uh, third building from the left, the brown one, has about the same height as my flat window here and it should, uh, the artificial horizon should stay on the roof all the time and that's not what's happening here. But now after applying the correct settings you can see uh, we have only a small deviation on the roll axis that happens due to the lens distortion of the camera compared to the background but if we pitch the nose up and down the horizon follows exactly the rear horizon and stays constant on the roof of this building and now I want to show you how you set this up correctly. First of all we open the configurator and enter our flight controller configuration then you switch to the CAI and everything is done here in this position. Um, to change the horizon offset first, that's the thing that brings the uh, crosshair and the artificial horizon to the correct height. So it matches the hori rear horizon when you fly level. We look for OSD horizon offset. By default this is zero and this is used to compensate for an angled FPV camera. So if your FPV camera is pitched down slightly what's actually uh, the case for a lot of airplanes especially for cruisers then you have to add a negative value here to correct the crosshair and the artificial horizon upwards and uh, each number means one row of the um, of the text-based classic OSD. In my case for the Talon 250G a uh, value of minus two, so two rows upwards movement uh, is perfect, so the horizon will fit the rear level. The next thing we need to do is correct the pitch area or the pitch range the horizon is reacting to. That means if you tilt your plane 20 degrees or 30 degrees upwards, we need to make sure that the horizon stays in the same position based on the camera field of view. So if your camera has a higher field of view, you have to use a higher value of the uh, available pitch area to s keep the artificial horizon on the real horizon. For this we use the uh, search function get AHI so we can see all the artificial horizon settings. Uh, a lot of them are just for the FR Sky Pixel OSD, but we are only looking for this one, OSD AHI Max Pitch. By default, this is on 20 degrees. So as soon as the plane pitches up or down for more uh, or at more than 20 degrees, then the artificial horizon will completely disappear from the screen. And we have to adjust that limit so it scales correctly to your camera view. For the Talon GT, uh, Talon 250G, I'm sorry, I have an Cadex EOS 2 FPV camera that has a specific field of view. I don't know the exact value, but I tried around a little bit and I found out that 30 degrees is the perfect match for that camera to keep the horizon at the correct spot. So we go to the input line, uh, type set OSD AHI max pitch equals 30, and after that of course don't forget to save and by this we have corrected this value already and we are ready to go at this point. About the other options we have here as I said before it's mostly for the FR Sky Pixel OSD. We have the uh, OSD Artificial Horizon Style 
this is the type of um, horizon you want to have either these pitch letters that have the numbers on it no, no matter how far you pitch up or down like in a fighter jet and you can also switch it to a single line you can enable the uh, AHI border that means you have a square border around the horizon area where it can move you can set how width or how high the area should be where the horizon can move or can be visible and you also have a pixel precise uh, vertical offset so you can even more precisely adjust the horizon position to your camera angle. After this is done you just type in save and hit enter and when you saved it, you will greet it with this FPV image the next time. As you can see, the crosshair and also the horizon have moved up a lot. And it stays constantly at the same height, no matter what pitch angle you have. I hope you find this video helpful. And if yes, please hit the like button. The YouTube algorithm will like that. And also consider to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I try my best to answer them. See you in the next video. Bye bye.